going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Before I start this video, I want to give you guys a huge thank you. I have just hit 20k subscribers, thanks to you guys, and for your motivation, all the love, the support you guys have been giving me, it's very, very much appreciated. Now, in today's video, I keep getting questions from you guys, Eddie. Do you really have a CST 3 to 6 inch lift? Because you told me you got 37s on there and everybody's saying it is impossible. Yes, guys, this is a CST 3 to 6 inch lift. It is set, so I, I kept changing. I first had it set to 4. Now, when I had it set to 4, I still had 37s on it. But what I didn't like about the 4, it was stink bugging too much. So now we've set it to five inches in the front, six inches in the rear. As you guys can see here, the truck does not stink bug that bad. You see there's just a little more in the rear and the airbags are all the way down. They're at five PSI. So I don't have the air pumped up in them at all. With the two inch block in the back, it lets it sit at six inches. So right now it's five inches in the front, six inches in the back and yes, these are 37, 13, 50, 20s. I will show you guys right, if I can find it, right there. 37, 13, 50, 20. Now, next question you guys are ask, gonna ask me is how in the heck did you get these to fit? There is minor trimming, it's not that bad. And then you're probably noticing where the heck is the Can-Am? Yep, the Can-Am is in the trailer. We're getting ready to head out to the desert. And everybody that keeps DMing me, Eddie, you going to Glamis? No, we are not going to Glamis. We're going to Gordon's this trip uh, just because Glamis is going to be hectic. We got too many of us. We're not going to be able to get a spot. So we're not going to Glamis. Sorry, guys. And I'm trying to respond to all your guys' DMs. Uh, there's been a couple people that want to get into the desert. Uh, you know, and they want to know what do they need to buy to start getting in there. I'll make a video for you guys on that also. But for the rear, you do not need to trim. You don't need to do anything. You can slap some 37s on it and you're good. Now, for the front, here's, it's not really that tricky either and I wish I had a stock truck to compare it to, but, so for the front to get these things to fit, let me see if you guys can see that from here. See this used to come all the way down straight right here. So I had to cut this right here. I know cutting the, uh, it's always a little scary on these trucks, but I don't know if you guys can see that there. I had to cut into here and I had to cut the plastic part right here. So as you guys know, it usually comes straight down right here. Well, when it did that, I put these on, this tire nearly ripped this thing right off. It took it almost clean off. So you gotta trim here, and you also have to trim a little bit in the back right here. So, so I, I put this cover back on. You see here, there's supposed to be a bolt, but I zip tied it because where I cut this, I had to cut the hole off. Very minor, minor trimming here also. It's not that bad, it's not that much cutting. As you can see also here on the other side, same thing, little trimming up here on the carpet, little trimming of some metal right here that usually comes down to about here. You have to trim that, and same thing right here, this part. And what the heck is that, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that's a, that's a big no-no. We're gonna have to uh, get that fixed. What the heck happened there? That's not good. All right. So, uh, like I was saying, same thing. A little trimming on this side and a little trimming right here on the plastic. A lot of people get rid of this plastic. You know, you can get rid of it. Uh, personally, I don't like the look of it when it's gone because as you see, this part comes like this. And it just, it doesn't look good. I, I personally don't like the look because it's not straight. You see, it starts here, then it goes lower. There's too many uh, bends in it and stuff. I personally do not like that look. So I keep the cover on, doesn't bother me. This is what it looks like when everything is, you know, cut up on the truck. And there's zero rubbing. I can turn it fully, fully left, fully right. No rubbing in there and there's no rubbing in here. This part, there's no metal. All I had to do was cut the carpet. The carpet came down to here, all the way down to here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me get in here. And uh, I had to cut a lot off the carpet, but this is, is no big deal because there's no metal or anything to cut. When uh, I had the 295, 65-20s on this, I used to rub. I used to rub right there, and I used to rub 
in here on the frame. That was with the stock rims and tires. A lot of you guys also asked me which CST kit this is. Honestly, I don't remember, it's been so long. Um, but it did not come with these Fox 2.0 shocks. I bought these uh, separate and um, the control arms came with it. Everything came with it except the shocks. You can, I believe they have a kit where you can get the Fox shocks. I just did not get it. I believe I got the uh, shocks cheaper because I have a direct account with them. Uh, so that's why I went with uh, their, I guess, regular kit. I, I don't know. I'm going to try to figure out what kit I got for you guys. Um, but I know I just got a... Basic, I didn't get no crazy off-road kit. You know, I didn't get anything for the desert or anything where I'm gonna go off-road this truck. Obviously, you guys, I don't off-road this thing. So it's just a CST three to six inch lift. Now I've got questions from you guys saying, hey Eddie, you know, I'm thinking about putting 35s or 37s on my truck. What do you recommend? Well, I mean, I personally like the look, obviously, of 37s. Uh, one thing that I, I, and this is the main reason why. So with GM, and this is one thing I hate. I mean, I cannot stand about GM and Chevy. Why in the hell do they make square fenders? A tire is round, it is not square. So GM, can you stop making these stupid square fenders? You know, I, I hate it, I can't stand it. I mean, you could put 37s uh, on a, you know, leveling kit with a Dodger or, or a Ford and have no problem. This thing, you know, to put 37s, I mean, clearly a five inch, I gotta start cutting and trimming, which that's fine, it's acceptable, I'll do, but I mean, I wish GM would stop making these square fenders and start going with a round fender like Ford and Dodge does because, you know, again, well, the tire is round, it's not square. Why I chose 37s is because I like to fill in the gap. As you guys know, there's always a huge, you know, gap in here and I wanted to fill it more. Now, some of you guys also told me, well, if I do 37s, you know, would you recommend me re-gearing or do I have to re-gear? No, you don't have to re-gear it, but the reason why I re-geared this truck is because I noticed when I started pulling my trailer, I had to really, really get on it, you know, to, to, to get the thing going, to get it up and going, to get the RPMs, you know, to move this trailer. And when I re-geared this thing, I mean, I can literally cruise up the grade, fifth gear, 70 miles an hour, no problem. Before, I would have to have it in fourth gear you know, screaming at almost 3,000 RPMs just because fourth was, uh, fourth was, you know, too, a little too much, but fifth was not enough. Fifth, fifth I kept bogging and, and, and going low. And it just felt like, you know, it wasn't there. The, 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 the power wasn't there, you know, when you, you would give the gas or accelerate, it wasn't there trying to push these 37s. Now, you know, I understand maybe I'm a little anal, you know, maybe it's not that big of a deal, and you're probably right, it's not that big of a deal. But I just noticed the truck did, I'm not gonna say did not like the 37s, but noticed the 37s were on there. And also, you know, I, I, want, I might keep this truck for a while just because, you know, the newer these trucks get, the more emissions crap they keep adding on these things. And I've took a lot of that stuff off. Um, the truck, you know, it runs great. I love the way it drives on, especially with it being re-geared. Re it drives amazing. Uh, if you're wondering, you know, RPM, what did it do to my RPM? So I used to be at, if I'm doing about 80 miles an hour, the RPM would be about 18, 1900. Now when I'm at 80 miles an hour, the RPM is at about 21, 2200. So it did jump it up about, you know, two to 300 more RPM. Does it bother me? No, uh, it still drives amazing, still drives great. I got no problem driving the truck and it tows amazing. And you guys keep asking me, Eddie, when are we gonna see you on the dirt bike, you know, in some uh, desert shots? Never. I took this thing out uh, once. I thought I had my endurance uh, like I used to uh, when I used to race. Clearly, I do not have the endurance anymore for this bike. I got extremely tired. I got arm popped. My fat ass could not handle these bikes anymore. I started sweating after like the fifth dune. Uh, and I also got spoiled with the side-by-sides over here. Well, not, not this one, but I got spoiled with the uh, side-by-sides that we currently have. I think that made, that made me a little lazy and it made me, you know, uh, appreciate side-by-side -side a little more because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love dirt bikes. I'm, I'm not gonna sell them and get rid of them. They're extremely fun and I do wanna ride it, you know, but if I do ride it, I'm not gonna ride out in the desert. I'll probably go on some uh, trail riding. I'm waiting for D-Max Rhino to buy something, a dirt bike, a Can-Am, you know, Razor, something. Uh, I think me and Chris will probably buy something before Ryan. Hopefully Ryan gets something soon um, before desert season's end. So, you know, 
you guys that are watching this video, I need you to go on Ryan's and Chris's Instagram or Ryan's YouTube channel. Tell them, you know, come on, let, let's go. Pick up the pace here. Let's, let's buy something because, I mean, I'm sitting here waiting. I'm ready. I want to get some more vlogs out there for you guys, you know, with me and D-Max Rhino and Chris out there. I just think, you know, it would be some badass footage for you guys. So I think if you guys keep bugging them enough, eventually he's just going to say, forget it and have to go buy one. I, Chris, Chris, we already got him on our side. Chris is in. Now we're just waiting on, well, you know, the Rhino. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. And again, thank you guys for letting me hit that 20K subscriber mark. It's really, really much appreciated. And if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to click subscribe. Peace.